Today, we're going to talk about writing a great introduction. How are you going to capture your reader's attention? So we're going to come up with six different strategies that really work. You've chosen your personal narrative. You're ready to start your rough draft and get started. But how do we hook that reader? How do we start our paper? One type of introduction would be a flashback lead. This lead takes the reader back to a specific event in the past that relates to the topic. So the example would be, I could feel the sweat pouring off my body as I watched the seconds tick off the clock. It was as if I was dribbling in slow motion, weaving in and out of the defenders and heading towards the hoop. As the buzzer sounded, I felt the ball roll off my fingertips and I watched anxiously as it spun around the rim for what seemed like an eternity. I finally heard the swish of the net I had won the game for my team. Now that makes me want to read that story. A talking lead begins with dialogue. So somebody speaking, someone in your personal narrative, someone in your story saying something. Quick, hit the floor, my dad yelled. Whatever you do, don't look up, my mother added as I dropped to the floor and slid myself under my bed. It was a terrifying night for my family when we discovered a bat in our house. A question lead starts your paper with an interesting question. How bad could it be? That's what I wondered before my family left for our camping trip with all seven of us piled into one car. Action lead. This lead gets the reader quickly involved in the story by starting with something exciting or some type of action. I threw on my favorite red dress and scrambled down the stairs as fast as I could it was my eighth birthday and I couldn't wait for the party to begin. A sound effect lead starts with a specific sound to get our attention. Smash, the window cracked, the wind howled and the door flung open. Rain poured in through the screen, drenching the welcome mat inside our house. I will never forget the fierce storm that invaded my house last night. A snapshot lead begins our story with the author painting a picture for the reader, helping us visualize what exactly is going on in that moment. It's 10 degrees below zero and the river is frozen a foot thick. It makes snapping sounds like the limbs of a tree cracking. A lone figure glides along the black ice, moving towards the city. The only sound is the scraping of each blade as it bites into the river. That's me doing my favorite sport, ice skating. Now, all of these introductions captured our attention. It wasn't just giving us a play-by-play -play of what's about to happen or having a way of just starting your paper that wants us to read more. So what you're going to do, you're going to try different examples on your own for your own paper. So you already know what your personal narrative is about. So I would like you to type what you're writing your personal narrative about. And then you're going to write an introduction for that paper with each of the different leads from what I just showed you. So yes, you're writing six different introductions about the same topic, your personal narrative. So you're going to try out each different kind. So you're going to write an example of how your paper would start if you used a sound effect lead, an action lead, a question lead, a talking lead, a flashback lead, and a snapshot lead. So try down, out six different introductions, and then you're gonna write up here, which one are you the most proud of? Which one's your favorite that you think that, yeah, that's how I'm really gonna start my paper when I begin my rough draft, okay? Can't wait to see what you have to write.